All right, we're here at the outdoor gym, the Ordinary Marathoner Outdoor Gym. I'm here with Heather Samuelson, who was with us hey uh, at our happy hour this past week. So, so the question was asked on the happy hour, if you could pick one exercise, strength training exercise to do, that it was an absolute necessity to do in a workout, what would that be? And your answer was? Dead bugs. And a lot of you guys out there, when you heard that answer, you said? Said, what the heck is a dead bug? What is a dead bug? It's not <laughs> what you think it is. Um, so we're here today to do a little video and show you kind of different variations of the dead bug. That's you ready? Right. That's right. And I'm yeah. going to be the, uh, the guinea pig. Guinea that pig. is going to be the Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we figured we'd show you three levels. So brand new beginner or potentially uh, someone with a history of low back issues. You want to have the most stable base um, as possible. So Scott's going to lay flat on his back. He's got his knees bent, he's got his feet flat comfortably, he's going to lay his head back. If that bothers your neck with your head down like that, what you can do, take a towel and roll it up just to support your cervical spine. Um, and then he's going to put his arms flat to start. So take your left knee up, Scott. And so to start, in order to create uh, just to keep a shorter lever and keep the, the stress low for a brand new beginner. All he's going to do is keeping his knee bent, he's just going to extend his thigh away, tap the heel to the floor, and then lift it back up. So while he's doing that, keep doing that, Scott, you want to make sure you keep your low back flat, like as if you could like hug a balloon at the small of your back. The other place that you want to maintain control is your upper back too. So you don't want to feel like your ribs are popping out. And then from here, once that becomes easy, then we can take the opposite arm. So now you're going to use your other, yep. So as he's moving the thigh away, he's going to reach the arm back. And you might be at home thinking, okay, how far should I go? I don't think I could go that far back with my arm. You're only going to reach as far back with the arm and the leg as you can go and still maintain integrity um, of your spine. So being able to keep your low back flat and not having like the jaws, your ribs popping out. So once you can master, say three sets of 15 here, then we're gonna go on to the intermediate version. So, ready Scott? Let's do it. So now we're gonna destabilize our base. So still keeping his knees bent, right? He's got his arms reaching towards the sky and he's got his low back flat. So now he's gonna use a big exhale as he reaches opposite arm, opposite leg away. So now he's making that leg really long. See how he's extending his knee? I'll move out of the way. And then come on back in. Now switch sides, guys. And we've even added a little bit of coordination complexity. Nice job. And again, so once he can complete three sets of 15, so counting each side as one, so that would be two. So technically, it would okay, it would be 16. 30. And then what? Yep. So now, third level. So you progressed, you ch uh, championed both the beginner and the intermediate. Uh, well, let me ask you this too, Heather. Yes. Can you, uh, alternating size versus same side. So, yes, another variation of the dead bug is same sides. So reaching same arm and same leg. And what that does is it challenges a set of muscles in your core called the internal obliques. So those are the oblique muscles that literally run like railroad tracks alongside and they help control like lateral motion at the hip. The external obliques, which was that opposite arm and leg that we just showed you, um, that's your external obliques and that helps to um, maintain rotary stability or the two of them together do that. So it's good to, to mix them up. Maybe one day do opposite side and maybe one day do same side. When this all becomes very easy. That's right. Then we're going to add a little something. So we're going to add, these are only three pound weights. And initially that will definitely be enough. Doesn't sound like So a lot. don't go get your 25s or your 30s. Trust me. So same thing. He's going to start the same way low back nice and flat. As he exhales, he's going to reach back and he's only going as far 
is he can maintain control of both his lower back and his upper back. And it's okay that as you progress up to each level, that maybe your range of motion shortens a little bit. Really okay. Awesome. Yeah, good job. Good stuff? Yeah, I feel really like I'm toned. Good stuff. You look, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so strong. toned. <laughs> All right, those are the dead bugs. Yeah, have fun with those. If you guys have any questions, send Scott a message, and I'll be happy to answer it. Sounds good. Thank you, Heather. You're welcome.